Hi, family. Welcome in. Prophetess Nikki here. How's everybody doing? Come on in, family. I want to let you all know that I'm so appreciative to all of you for what you do on a daily basis to help bring glory to our channel so that we can give glory to our God. I love y'all so much. Thank you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank y'all for what you do daily, family. I love all of you so much. I am touching and agreeing with you. I want you to listen at this, family, because so many of you feel so unappreciated. Listen, if you're feeling overlooked and if you are feeling unappreciated, by people. I want you to know this is a setup from heaven. If you feel overlooked, if you feel unappreciated, I want you to understand that you have been handpicked by God. Yes. You remember when God rejected Saul, but he picked David. Yes. See, people look at the outward appearance of you family, not on the inside, but God has handpicked you while everybody else is passing by you. Everybody else is overlooking you. Everybody else is preferring somebody else over you. It's a setup from God. It is a setup from heaven, and it is one of the greatest mistakes that people can make. Don't ever forget this scripture. I want you to read it in your spare time. It's 1 Samuel. It's very familiar, and we all know it. 1 Samuel chapter 16. 1 Samuel and 16. I want you to read that, family, because you have been handpicked. You have been handpicked by God, but you feel so overlooked. You feel so unappreciated by people. People can only people... They can only be who they are. See, God allows these things. God is sovereign family. We'll never, never totally understand because God leaves some things for us until we see him so that we can know these things. People are going to regret the day that they passed you by. You didn't look the part, family. You didn't. You didn't fit the role for these people. No. You came from the wrong neighborhood to some of these people. You came from the wrong background. You had the wrong last name. You just didn't look the part on the outside. And people are so superficial in our society today, today. But don't get caught up in that. I don't want you to believe the lies of society. Because if you listen and believe the lies of society, family, you're going to allow that to conform who you are. No, you are a child of the king. You are a child of the most high God, family. They looked on the outward appearance of you, but God looked at your heart. God knew that your heart was good. God knew that your heart was absolutely given. He knew it, family of God. But people overlooked this part of you. You didn't just fit the role, people of God. You fit no part in these people's story. But God said it's okay. I want you to know that today. It is okay, family, because what God has for you, these people are going to regret the day that they bypassed you, that they overlooked you, they are. You know what, people of God? You know, it's so sad in our society today. People know who you are spiritually. Did you know that? They know what you bring to the table, but they're so caught up what other people are going to think about why they chose you. They care more than what other people say than how they really feel. There are a lot of cowardice people in our world today, family of God. But don't ever get into that trap with people. God judge your heart, not the outward appearance of you. God is going to take you places that people are not going to even imagine that you can go. And the reason why God is going to do this because he himself have handpicked you. God has handpicked you. Did you hear me, family? God has handpicked you. God wants you. God has need of you. I know people may have treated you like they had no need for you, that they had no use for you. I know the feeling, family of God, but it's all a setup from heaven. God has an amazing plan for your life. His plan is to prosper you. God's plan is to give you a good future. God is, God is going to give you an expected end. And whatever God has for you, family, it's going to give you an expected hope. Don't ever forget that. You have been handpicked by God. People overlooked you. They did. You feel unappreciated. You bring so much to the table and you're trying to figure out some of you. What is it about me that people don't like when I have no bad intentions toward these people? You are asking yourself, why is it do I always get the bad? It's not that family. Change your perception. It's a setup from heaven because God handpicked you because you are chosen. And as a chosen vessel of God, it's the truth, family. 
I'm going to be honest and transparent with you because it's my job to be honest, to be transparent so that you can grow, not just to inspire, not just to motivate you, but to help you with a broader understanding through the word of God as to why we as chosen people go through so much. It is what it is, family, but we are not going to go through any of this alone. You are not going through this alone. Don't you understand that people wish, they hope, and they prayed that you would not make it this far? Don't you know that people, glory to God, they wished how they overlooked you, that it would crush you. People want you to go away, but God said, not today, enemy. You are not going away. You are here to stay, and you are going to make it. You are going to succeed, and you are going to excel in this world. Chosen vessels of God are going to suffer the most. That is the first thing I want you all to get in your spirit. As a chosen vessel of God, you are going to suffer the most. You are because you have a job to do in this world and you have a God to glorify. Do you know that God gets glory out of our life when we suffer, when we go through? It brings God glory. If God brews his own son, who are we, family? So change your perception. There is nothing wrong with you. There is everything right with you and there's everything wrong with the person that has rejected you for no cause. Some of you have been rejected. Some of you have been mistreated. Some of you have been made to feel unappreciated, family of God, because the enemy knows. The, know, the enemy knows if he can get you to doubt God, if he can get you to doubt yourself, you are going to lay down your destiny. You are going to lay down your purpose. No, don't you lay down your purpose. Don't you lay down your destiny for anybody, family of God. There is nothing wrong with you. Don't ask yourself that there is nothing wrong with you. And I pray in the name of the Lord today that God would give you the grace to continue your race. I pray in the name of the Lord today that you will see yourself through the eyes and through the lens of the Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua, because it is who God says you are, that who you are. Did you know that? It is not what people say that it is. No, it is who God says you are that you must, must believe. And it is what God says about you that you will make it. If God said you're going to make it, you are going to make it, sons and daughters of the Most High God. Yes, you feel unappreciated. Yes, you have been forsaken. You have by so many people that you didn't even imagine would forsake you, but it was all a part of God's plan. So ask God, how can I bring glory to you with all the suffering that I'm going through? You ask God, how God can I bring you glory? That's all God wants you to do, not to murmur, not to grumble, and not to complain because the word of God said it, we are blessed. Listen at what God says. Sometimes we think we're blessed by the material possessions. No, that's not where we're blessed. God said you are blessed because you have been persecuted. Isn't that something? You are blessed whenever you're persecuted, family of God. Don't ever forget that. I love y'all so much, family. Keep going. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. You have been forsaken by so many. You have been rejected by so many. You have been made to feel unappreciated. And it was done on purpose because there is an assignment against your assignment. Did you know that? There is an assignment, family, against your assignment. Yes, it is. Glory be to God. I love y'all. We're going to talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, don't get scammed on this channel. Do you hear me? Don't get scammed on this channel. Only follow me here. Thank y'all for your donations. Thank you for purchasing the book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. You're going to make it. You're going to make it, family of God. This is why so much hell is coming against your life. Glory to God. We're going to talk later. Like this video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you. God judges your heart. Don't stop doing good. No matter what has been happening to you, what people have done to you, the enemy wants you to stop. He wants you to block your heart space. Don't allow things that you have gone through, things you have endured by betrayal of people to stop you. Glory to God for being good. You were good to the wrong people. Still be good, but be led where to be good and who to give so much. You have given so much, family of God. You have spread yourself too thin with people who were not designed for your life. That's all. Forgive yourself. This is the first, I wouldn't say first, maybe a second or third thing that you must do. Forgive yourself. Yeah, forgive yourself, family. It's a tactic of the enemy. I love you. We'll talk later. 
if it be the will of the Lord. Bye-bye.